Hello children, welcome to the third day of our online UBS class conducted by Sajapur Run Methodist Church. So, how are you all today? Yes, you are safe and sound by God's grace, isn't it? Yes children, we should be really grateful to God for giving us good health, good home and especially for our parents. Yes, this is what you learnt yesterday also, isn't it? Very good. Are you all learning your memory verses and reciting it to your parents? Very good children. I am sure you are doing it. Okay. So can we begin our today's class? Day 3. And see you all after the closing prayer time. Let us pray. Gracious our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this morning. Thank you for this new day, new life that you have given to us. It is purely by your grace and your mercies that you have enabled us to see this new day. Thank you for being our master and teacher throughout these two days in our Vacation Bible School. And thank you for enabling us to join this Vacation Bible School on this third day. Bless this day as we begin this Vacation Bible School. We begin in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. As we sing praises to your name, as we learn new songs, new stories, as we do craft work, we pray that Heavenly Father, you teach us through all these activities, your lessons, your law and your commandments, O oh Lord. Help us to always love you, help us always to serve you, O oh Master. At this moment, we surrender our teachers, surrender each and every child into your mighty care. Bless each one of them as we spend few moments. In learning your word, we pray that Heavenly Father, you be the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and end of this activity. And you receive all glory, honor and praise through this activity and bless all the children and all the teachers who engage in this activity. We seek your guidance, your protection and your leading. And we ask this prayer in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
children are you all happy today oh very good then did you thank jesus for that yes we all have to thank jesus for our happiness for our parents our friends our health and for everything that we have okay very good today we are going to see a very interesting story taken from matthew 17 verses 24 to 27 and the topic of the story is jesus does everything good so children do you all agree that jesus does everything good yes okay children one more question who provides you with whatever you want to have like chocolates new clothes new toys or snacks who is it that gives you yes it's your father or your mother isn't it yes our parents fulfill all our needs then who provides these things to your parents how do they get them it is jesus who provides with all our needs we have to thank jesus for this also okay so shall we go into the story okay so once jesus and his disciples went to a place called capernaum so at that time some tax collectors came to peter so children now who is a tax collector tax collector is a person who collects some money from all citizens of country and uses it for the development of the whole country so when we pay tax government will provide us with good facilities like roads street lights water facilities transport facilities and so on so we all have to pay tax in luke chapter 20 verse 25 also jesus tells that give to caesar what is caesar's and to god what is god's that means what you have to pay to king pay to king what you have to pay to god pay to god so children one question do we have a king now no right so to whom do we have to pay so it is our government so we have to pay our ta- taxes to the government and jesus also says we have to pay to god so now what is to be paid to god is it tax so that heaven will provide us with good facilities no not at all because god has already made everything perfect for us then for what we have to pay hmm you must be thinking it could be the offerings which we give in church and sunday school right yes you are right but you are only half right what only half right why is it only half right you must be thinking okay i will tell you why it's only half right it is because offering doesn't mean only money because sometimes money is with our parents when they give only we can give to god it is not our own money right so what can we give on our own can someone tell me okay the answer is we can give our talents to god we can show our obedience we can put our trust in god we can love god we can love our friends obey god's commandments and also giving time to god sometimes we are so busy in doing other things like playing in our mobile phones or watching tv or wasting time and we forget to spend time with god so what is spending time with god it is praying and reading bible so these are some offerings which we can give on our own to god and make him happy okay let's come back to the story so children who came and asked tax 
Yes, it is the tax collectors. And whom did they ask? Yes, it is Peter. Very good. So you are listening to the story. Good. So when tax collectors came, they asked Peter if their master, that is Jesus, pays tax or not. So Peter tells them, yes, my master pays the tax. After saying this, Peter and Jesus go inside the house. When Peter enters the house, Jesus says to Peter, Peter, we should not make them angry or offend them. So, go to sea and cast a hook to catch a fish and then pay the tax. So, now to pay tax, why to catch fish? Tell me children, is it to make fish fry? Oh, you all like fish fry. Okay, one day we will prepare fish curry and fish fry in our church compound. Now let's come back to the story. So why did Jesus tell Peter to go and catch fish? Even Peter was confused at that time. So Jesus said this because when you catch the fish and open its mouth, you will find a silver coin. And Jesus said, take that coin and give it to tax collectors for my tax and for your tax. Wow! What a miracle, right? A silver coin in fish mouth. It's amazing, right? Yes, our God is a powerful God who can do wonderful miracles. So, when Jesus said this, Peter did exactly as Jesus has instructed him and Peter obeyed Jesus. So children, now what do we learn from this story? We have to obey God and when we obey God, we can experience his miracles in our lives also as Peter experienced. And also we have to obey our government and give offerings to God. And what are those offerings, children? Yes, we have to give our talents, our obedience, our trust, our love, our time and our everything to God. Will you offer these things to Jesus from today onwards, children? Very good. And one more thing we have to remember is, whatever Jesus does, it is good. If there is government, it is for our good. If we have to pay tax, that is also for our good only. Okay? Very good. So for today's memory verse, it is taken from Ecclesiastes 3.11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Now this is for only small children. Okay, I'll repeat the memory verse. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Ecclesiastes 3.11 And the memory verse for bigger children is taken from Psalms 31 verse 19. How great is your goodness which you have stored up for those who fear you which you bestow in the sight of men on those who take refuge in you. I repeat, how great is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, which you bestow in the sight of men on those who take refuge in you. Psalms 31 verse 19. Okay children, shall we pray now? Everyone close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for fulfilling our needs. Thank you for my parents, friends and everything that I have. Thank you Jesus for today's story. Lord Jesus, help us to obey you and 
our government. We submit every one of us into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, children. See you all tomorrow once again. Bye. activity uh, for day 3 we will be doing an activity treasure box so the materials needed are any container like this they use and throw containers or a carpet box some paper chips I have some uh, glitter glues here to decorate the box and a pen and a knife the first what we will do is uh, we will uh, make a hole here for the paper chips to go inside. So this is like more like a you know, piggy bank kind of thing that we are going to do. But we are going to name it as a uh, talent treasure box. Now I'm going to place it uh, here and now we will uh, 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 like a permanent marker or a CD marker we will write here talent treasure box. Uh, so what is the aim that we are doing it? So we are doing it without knowing what we are doing, is it? So this is, as we saw in our today's lesson, that we have to give, uh, pay taxes to our government and we also need to pay tithes to God. But, um, so as small children, we will not be earning money. So what is that something that we own that we can give to God? Those are our talents, right? So take, uh, now what we are going to do is, the chips that we have here is, Write down all the uh, talents that you have. Okay, and then we will. What we will do is decide one talent that which you would like to use it for God. So, for example, for me, I like uh, my talents are baking, cooking, crafts, and such like that. No organizing. So. Uh, teaching is also a talent. So now what I will do is, I will write teaching that I will dedicate my teaching talent for God. That is I teach children in Sunday school. So I am using my talent to the children. So likewise, you also select a talent. Okay. First you write all the talents that you have and put it in the treasure box inside. So I will write some of my talents here. So each sheet will have one talent. So I'll write teaching and now we will fold it so this I will uh, fold it and we will put it in the box like this so you can write all your talent and put it in the box and it's not necessary that only one talent you, you should promise for God that you use it for God you can uh, use anything So you will have many talents like this, right? So you write all those like painting, crafting, singing, uh, storytelling. You know, uh, you could use like uh, music. You could use any of the talents. Write, uh, list down all the talents and then put, it, put everything into this treasure box. And keep it safe on your study table. So each time... No, whenever you uh, um, uh, you like increase your talent or even this holidays, you can uh, build a new talent, right? So whenever you find a new talent, you put it in the box. And um, any one talent or you can even use all the talents for God. And so once you are all done with this, 
we will make our box a little decorative with this glitter bee. This is Joy's talent treasure box. I hope you will all uh, enjoy doing this and you know, don't forget to pray for the talent that you are willing to give it to God. See you all tomorrow. Bye. to government right so you know our uh, you know how many of you pay taxes to the government it is it necessary to pay yes it is necessary that's what we learned in our lesson so in our lesson what we learned jesus asked peter 
to take the coin from the fish of her mouth. Right? So what we are going to do now is we are going to draw a beautiful fish. A beautiful fish. You can decorate it, use glitters, and then we are going to place a coin in its mouth using a hidden pocket. Okay? Let's go. Now we are going to cut this, cut this fish on the side. I got the so we will cut this along the sides and what we will do is we will cut in the face here because we will be, uh, this is the mouth of the fish right. So behind when we open this mouth we can find a coin. So we are going to place a pocket here, we will stick a pocket and place this coin behind here. Okay, so let's move on to cutting now. So uh, after cutting this, it is like that. Now here is the opening for the mouth. So we'll turn this the side, and here is a small round pouch that I'm gonna stick here. So on the sides, I'm gonna glue it. And yet to and yet to make 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 a pocket. Yes, pocket. So and we'll place a coin here and a pocket. So now we have sticked it. So when you open it, you can see the see the coin here. So you can take the coin. So now we have to stick it all here. So let it dry and meanwhile let's color the fish so colorful. Emma, you wanna do the coloring? Yeah. Okay. I want to color red. So here we go. It's a beautifully colored <laughs> fish, I guess. By ML. And see, you can see a pocket where there is a coin. If you open the fish mouth, you can see the coin inside. Okay, so now what we are going to do is, I have a loop here. So we are going to do fishing now. We have to catch this fish, right? So I have some, have some thread to tie it here. So let's try. And now we are going to do fishing. So let's put a hole here so that this goes in. Okay, so, so this is so I'm gonna do fishing. So the fish comes up and here and Jesus asked Peter to catch the first fish, right? And here's the first fish and we have a coin here. And here you go. So you can see, right, that there is the logo here and it belongs to the Indian government. So we give taxes to our government. So same way, you, al you also be a, a citizen of India paying taxes to your government. Hope you all enjoyed today's craft. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Let us pray. Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you for this morning. Thank you for being with us throughout this Vacation Bible School. Thank you for enabling us to learn new songs, learn stories from Bible, and do craft work, O oh Lord. We thank you and we praise you for being our Lord and Master. Thank you for teaching us life's lesson. 
And Lord, at this moment, we acknowledge that you are our good Father who provides for our needs, who cares for us, who loves us, and who sustains us and protects us from all the dangers of this world. We thank you and we praise you. Thank you for teaching us through the story of Jesus to give what is due to the government and also to be happy in giving. Yes, so Lord, thank you for teaching us this lesson. Help us to love you. Help us to serve you. Help us to be the image bearers of Christ. Help us to testify your name in this world wherever we live. Help us to abide by the law of the land. At this moment, O oh Lord, we acknowledge that you make all things beautiful in our lives in your time. And thank you for fulfilling all the desires of our hearts. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our teachers. Thank you for our schools. Thank you for our Sunday school and vacation Bible school. Thank you for everything that you do to us, O oh Master. At this moment, we also remember that you do good things for all the people in and around us, O oh Master. At this moment of sickness, anxiety, we pray that Heavenly Father, you lighten our spirits. Defend us from all the perils and dangers of this world, O oh Master. Help us to love you and live for thy glory. We ask this prayer in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hope you all enjoyed today's class and don't forget to learn your memory verses and send your crafts and activities to us via email or whatsapp. See you all tomorrow. Bye bye.